Hello guys, welcome back. Thank you for joining me again. So here we are, as you can see, they're third in the league, riding high after that Edinburgh derby win against Hibs. Now, an emphatic 2-0 victory there, and we followed that up with a 2-0 victory over Motherwell. So again, you know, we have been in fine form. Nothing like we started off last season. We've hit the ground running. We've had 13 shots, 5 targets, 63% possession in that one. Suta with a goal on 41. And Brophy with a goal on the first minutes of first half stoppage time. Gets us the victory there. 63% possession. I think that's where it's changed. You know, we are now playing that tick attack style football. And we've absolutely bossed it. You know, our additions within the summer have been fantastic as well. We're now on the 31st of August. 11 games played. Only 6 points behind Celtic. Three points behind Rangers. We're two points clear of Livingston who will play today. Obviously, Livingston beaten us at the start of the season in stoppage time. Obviously, that goal had cut through us and they scored. But we've had a very good start to the season, I would say. We've got a Betfred Cup semi-final today against Kilmarnock. With the opportunity to get into our first cup final, which would be absolutely massive as well. Manager performance-wise, currently got a B from the board. To summarise the board, I'm very pleased with your overall leadership of the team. And squad dynamics, team cohesion is average, club atmosphere is very good. And that managerial support basically took me 12 months to get the managerial support sorted. We're now very good. Top influencers, got to be more top influencers now, surely. There you go. You know, loads of people support us. Team leaders, obviously, Gordon Walker and Sutar. Sutar, the club captain. We've not really got that many other players anymore. People are starting to drop into the other core social groups. But, yeah, nobody opposes us. 15 player supporters. We've finally got everybody on side. So, we're going to start today, then, with that game against Kilmarnock in the Betfred Cup semi-final. And team selection for this one's going to be Gorey and Goal, Kingsley, Halkett, Sutar and Smith. Irvin and Power in the middle with Edwards, Walker and Byrne. And then we're going to bring Boyce back in up front. Let's give him a run out. Boyce with six goals so far this season. Walker there with nine. Absolutely loves a goal. So the social roundup then. Jack before. Kingsley starting is a terrible call. Smith starting is good, says Jason Binney. Stefan Finley, really good atmosphere here. Credit to both of ours and Kilmarnock's fans. Ellis McGregor, you can sense the nerves amongst our fans today. It's almost like we've already lost. Don't be like that, Ellis. Come on now. Right, what are we telling the guys then? I'm going to pump fists a little bit. And I expect you to come back after this match is finalist. I'm going for it. And nobody's really fallen out with us with that. They're all composed and they're ready to go. We'll send the assistant to that and let's get cracking. So massive game today. They're playing a 4-4-2. But we should be able to outdo that surely with our formation, with our style of play. It's a big end. Let's go. And almost 10 minutes gone with nothing so far. As we've both had a shot on target each. And Kilty then whips a corner in for Killy. It's cleared away. Nobody's closing it down now. There we finally get out to the ball as Kilty picks it up again. Decent challenge yard. Irving on the ball then. Edwards go on run with it. Bit of pace from Edwards and he's going by himself. He's done some decent mileage for us there. Edwards out to Walker. He's got a score. What a block. It's a door block. It's off the post. Byrne hits the post. Massive opportunity. We should have been 1 0 up then the first 15 minutes. Right, we've had 55% possession with 20 minutes gone. I'm liking how it's going so far. Could do with a couple more highlights though, a couple more in our favour. See, we're not really doing a lot now. But still, 59% possession with 38 minutes gone. Nelson on the ball then. Can we cut it out and hit him again? Galloway to Shibola. Power, another power play in. Go on then, rob him. Boyce needs to get stuck in, and we cut that out easy then. Halkett there to Irving. Ball out wide. Edwards, is he going to be direct again? He is as well. He's on the way. He's feeling it today. There's Burn then. Boyce to Burn. He's put it wide. It's a massive miss. Two big opportunities in his first half. He should have really went a bit further with it. We've only managed two shots on target out of the seven we've had. And at half time, it's nil nil. Burns nervous. The media have given you a lot of credit lately. Go up there and put on a worthy display. Let's do that. We've got some motivated players. Tactically then, do we make any changes thus far? Michael Smith on a 6.5. I haven't really got a player to change him with. Do I make a change up top? As Byrne, like I say, he's nervous. Let's get LaRucci on. So LaRucci on at half time then. He has got a goal in him. Yes, LaRucci. So we'll see how he gets on. They've come into the game now. They've had four shots, three on target. It is still nil nil, and we're 45 minutes potentially away from a final. But we've got to get something out of it. It's Anzala to Mackenzie then. 
Oh, can we cut that out? We do. Power down to Walker. Power on a card. Got to be careful with that. As there is a challenge in there. Walker out to Edwards. We've got options in the middle. Ball in. Boyce got it. There you go. Liam Boyce with the goal. 57 minutes on the clock. We are 1-0 up. It's a great ball in as well. Boyce with his seventh goal of the season. An absolute hero. Walker across. You know, there's a couple of challenges in there before, and, and he just lobs it in. Boyce, decent header back across the keeper. 1-0. And there we go. It's deserved, mind, in this one. We've had 10 shots, 4 on target, 61% possession. I have still got changes to make. You know, do we change anything tactically, though? As we have a corner now, Irving then with the ball. In LaRucci, and it's over the bar. At the near post. With 15 minutes to go, I'm going to make another change, you know. So, Power's on a yellow. We'll get Jimmy on. He plays in a similar position. Do I change anything else at all? LaRucci's on a 6.8. Michael Smith is having an absolute shocker. I'm going to make a big call here and make a change at the back. I'll swap those two guys around, confirm the changes, and let's go with 10 minutes to play. All my substitutions made. We go to the last five minutes. We've had 12 shots, four on target, you know. 61% possession. Kill you have done nothing, if I'm completely honest. We've a couple of minutes left, and there you go. That should be us into the final. We do it. Don't be wrong. It weren't pretty. 1-0 victory there. Felt easier than what it was. Congratulations, lads. You've all dreamt of playing in the final. Now you've gone and done it. I'm delighted for you all. They're inspired and motivated. Not many people have predicted a Scottish League Cup final place for hearts. So how good does that moment feel? I'm chuffed. Max Power picked up another yellow card. Taking his tally for the season up to seven. Does that concern you? In the Rawley place, he's going to pick up cards. That's the way to go. Oh, so the stage then has already been the other game played. So we're going to play Celtic in the final after they won 2-0 against Motherwell. So it's a heart Celtic final. Not too far away from what's happening in the real world, I believe. So, you know, we might get the opportunity before that one to see what happens. But how have the fans reacted? So Olivia Yuli then says, just got back from the match. Didn't see that one coming. Ross Hutchinson, unbelievable result that. Let's build up some momentum now. We've got plenty of momentum anyway. And Tom Skelly says, give Boyce better players to work with and we'll be unstoppable. He's so good. Boyce, he's average at best. But he gets a goal for us. He loves it. So the headline is then Finley gets one over on Kilmarnock. Basically only come on for the last five minutes. But yeah, he's still got one over him on it anyway. Hart win in the Scottish Cup semi-final. Boy shines as Hart's win. Let's give him some prayers. He's superb in front of the goal. Very good finish. And then confirmation that we'll play Celtic on the 5th of December at Hampden Park. That last game was at Hampden Park, by the way. But yeah, we'll get a big game there against Celtic. Our first opportunity at Silverware. The Hearts vs Aberdeen match has been rearranged. So schedule-wise, what does that mean then? So yeah, we got Celtic there in between Kilmarnock and Dundee United. Right, so game day number 12 then as we take on Livingston on Friday night. The only game being played today. Rangers have played that additional game and they are three points clear of us. So a win and a four-goal swing as they are four goals clear. Look at that goal difference for Celtic though. Plus 18 already. Team selection wise, and there's been a slight change to the day's team. There's Gory and Goal, Medley, Finley, Sutar, and Smith. Irving and Power in the middle. Is Power the man? Do I give him a rest? I'm going to bring Jimmy on for Power. Edwards, Walker, and Byrne. And then Richards coming on up front as well as a big call. But we're going to go like that. So Richards starting is a terrible call, says Kieran Ward. Of course, Sutar starts. Nothing said about Jimmy though, you know, really hoping John Suter keeps up his good form and leads us to a win here, it's overdue. I know a lot of you will be keen to avenge what happened when we played Livingston, absolutely me included. It was a, a tough one to take that, a bit of pill to swallow, as there you go, there's our lineup as we played a 4-2-3-1 formation, and it'll be interesting to see our Livingston lineup. So they're playing a 4-1-4-1, Derek Adams the manager there, let's go and do them then, come on. Big 90 minutes. I'd like to get some kind of revenge after the way it went down last time. And early doors, we've had two shots. Yet to have one on target in the first 10 minutes. But no highlights thus far. And with 20 minutes gone, still nothing at all. You know, maybe it's time to chuck a shout in already. So if I demand more from the entire team, try and push them. Richards is having a shock at up front on a 6.5. He's obviously given no outlet. As we're going to the last five minutes with no highlights. So we've had six shots, four on target. And nothing worthy of a highlight, which is poor. 
That's not great at all. All right, dressing room now. Let's give him a bit of a, a dressing down. Hands on hips. I'm not happy with that performance. The motivated. Burn, though. He's not a fan of everything I've got to say. You know, he's apprehensive again. Richards is coming off. Boyce is going to try and save the game for us. Let's have a look at how it falls in the tactics. Jim in the middle of the park isn't having a bad game on a 6.9. One of our better players. But any more changes to make, really. Edwards is having a shocker as well. We'll get Henderson on there and we'll play it like that. So let's start the second half with a double substitution. Ewan Henderson and Liam Boyce. Oh, and we'll late change the game. We're playing positive. I'm going to go attacking. I'm not going to get carried away like I did last time. Obviously, I was pushing everybody up. I think we went to a 4 2 4 and they caught us out in the last five minutes. Well, in stoppage time. So I don't really want to get carried away this time around. A draw isn't a bad result. You know, it still had us in, in third place. We just don't want to drop points to Livingston. Now, a win for them would do us some damage. As we go into the last 10 minutes, and there has not been a highlight. It's been one of the worst games I've ever seen. 13 shots, 8 on target. We've got a highlight. Here we go. Watch more drama. We've had to wait for the 90th minute for a highlight. Absolutely shocking. As they play a ball into the middle of the park, Robinson picks it up. Bear in mind, they've done nothing this game anyway. Sibald then. Can we cut it out? It's a ball. All and they've scored. They've done it to us again. They've done it to us again. They've done absolutely nothing in this game. What is occurring here? Sibald with the ball in. It's a great finish, don't get me wrong. It's a great ball in as well. He hits it straight into the corner. Keeper's got no chance. First shot on target. I think that's how they've done us last time. Right, highlight. Can we get something out of this game? Henderson. Ball across. Oh, we bloody have as well. Jack Byrne, get in. Whew. 48 seconds over the allotted four minutes. We get to go get in. I'll take a draw. Absolute 100% take a draw. Oh, you love to see it. Water ball in. And there you go. He's rescued as a point. They didn't deserve anything out of that. And there you go, a 91st minute goal from Holt, a 95th minute from Burn, over the allotted four minutes. Oh, you're not good enough today. That was the sort of match we should be winning. The focus, they understand. All right, we're going to send the assistant to that, and we'll see what everyone's got to say. So, we got the draw. We're two points behind Rangers, five points behind Celtic. Four goal difference. Get away with that. Nothing like a late goal to rescue a game. Can still feel the adrenaline pumping. And that is why the possession nerds do made in. If we were so dominant, why didn't we win? Exactly. You know, possession counts for nothing. Goals win games. Oh, dear me. So Jimmy walks in. He's out for five to six days to bruise five. And Hearts rescue a late draw is the headline. Right, so we'll see what the games go like over the weekend. So Celtic against Kilmarnock and Dundee United against Hibs. Hibs now up into weight with 12 points on the board. Could do with a Hibs defeat there. Keep him in the mud. Let's have a look. And Hibbs win. Look at the state of that. 89th minute goal from Chalmers to make it 2-1. A 91st and a 92nd minute goal. Hibbs up into 6 with 15 points. So Celtic win 1-0 against Kilmarnock. Hibbs win 3-2 against Dundee United. Aberdeen down in bottom spot. And that is it for the weekend then with everybody playing 12 games. We sit in 3rd place. What a start to the season. I know we're on the 6th of November but... Third place, you know, I was worried about being in the top half. So there we go. So where are you going to join me next? I think we come back for that Scottish Cup final. And I think that's the way to go. So yeah, we'll we'll get all the build up for that. And we'll hopefully get some kind of victory against Celtic. So you'll catch me then in the next episode for the Betfred Cup final. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you later. Ta-ra.